right, so page 128, the fun in. So just starting on the previous page, it says, Vahatormus, Hatormos, Hayavesh, Kule. So you can clear away dried Tormos. Tormos is food for goats. Dafi Yavesh Aval, Lach, Loch. Specifically, dry Tormos. But moist Tormos, or Tormos, which is fresh, uh, you can't move that away. My Tama, what's the reason? Kevan de Maria Lo Akla, because it's bitter when it's moist, and even a goat would not eat it. So there's no, there's absolutely no value. Aval Lo et Hatevel the Kole. However, so the mission said you can't clear away Tevel. What's Tevel? Untied Untied produce. So you've got your produce sitting there and you haven't dealt with it yet from a Kadosh in front of you. Pshita, it's obvious that you can't move it. Lo, no. Uh, it was necessary. It was necessary to talk about the Tevel that requires tithing rabbinically. Uh, for example, where one planted produce in an unperforated flower pot, meaning that it wasn't connected to the ground. Uh, ah, and that's why it's rabbinically prohibited. Yeah. Because I'm sort of afraid it was mainly, you know, sort of, um, no drainage, so no drain so right. it has to be it connected to, be to the ground. In right. order, Otherwise it's the biblically, in order, Mindoraisa, to take the, yeah. the mater and the trauma and all that. The Loma Therishon Vechole, so you can't take, uh, it's Mukta, my Sarishon, where Tuma hasn't been taken. Shita, this is obvious. Lo, no. Shikashi hikimu, shikimu, bakri. It was necessary to talk about this ruling. Where one, what was the word you used, Peter? Advanced, where one. Receded. Uh, where the Levite preceded the priest. Where the Levite preceded the priest. So, if the Levi got his Mesa before, before the priest went to get his. The Kohen, uh, theoretically, biblically, it's fine, you can touch it, I think. But rabbinically, we put a stop to it. Shinitao, Mimenu Master, where Mesa has been taken. From the from the Maitrishon, the law nifla mimenu truma gedola, but truma gedola, which would be the original uh, truma of the kohen, has not been taken from it. Mahu the tema kidama le rav papa labaye, mother said as rav papa says labaye. That is that the verse which exempts Maitrishon from truma gedola if the levy. For, uh, if the lady preempts the Kohen, while the grain is in the ears, to also exempt it from Truma Gadola, even if he preempts the Kohen after the grain is told. Kamash Malan, he is a Shane Le Abaye. The Tana informs us, otherwise, as Abaye had answered, Rapata. Can you take us through that, please, Peter? I'm not precisely sure where we are. So my mind was just before the before the the law it's my say Okay. Before that. Uh, just before that. Yeah. Well I'll start off with law my say we start. Law may one move the first time from which Puma has not been taken. The Gamara asked this is obvious. The Gamara answers it's only necessary for the Mishnah to teach the Salafah for a case in which the Levi preceded the priest after the kernels of grain were placed in a pile that is they've been separated in the ears. Where first tithe was taken and Puma Gadola was not taken. 
some of the dollar is when the Kohen gets it first. Yes. Then Master Rishon is then where you get, so the, 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 the trim of the dollar is one fiftieth, about two percent. Yes. And then Master Rishon uh, is where you give to the Levium, and they take Esther, ten percent. Um, and if the Levy takes first for the Kohen, then it's satisfactory. It's satisfactory. According to the Torah. Yeah, and the uh, Levi doesn't have to necessarily, having taken it, doesn't necessarily have to give the Kohen a uh, back proportion of it. No, he doesn't. That's what he's doing. Yeah, is that right? I think we covered that in one of these notes. Yeah, okay. Uh, here we are. The proper way to separate Truma is as follows. The owner of the grain first separates Truma the dollar from the produce. Typically, the amount of the Truma dollar, the dollar is one fifth or two percent of the crop, which would be given to a fish. The owner then ties the remaining produce, separating 9.8 percent of the original crop and giving it to the lever. The lever separates the Truma of the tithe. 1 tenth of what he receives, or 0.98% of the original crop which he gives to the feast. However, if the Levi arrives at the granary before the feast, he receives the full 10% of the rest, which he retains even after the Truma Godola is formulated. In that case, the feast receives a total of only 2.8% instead of 2.989%. Uh, 8%. The Levite may not separate from a Godola. So the Kohen can come afterwards and yeah, take his part, but, but it's 2% of after the 10% has been yeah. taken. So he misses out on the bit. And right. the Levite, well, the Levite got that ah. But, uh, but I imagine that, uh, what do you say? Three, thank you. 2.98. And it's exact. It's, it's way exactly. Or is that, is that Actually, no, the trauma, um, there's no precise measure of the trauma. Some people say it's 1 50th, some people say it's 1 60th. It's even so. Okay, so this is GST. Sorry, this, this is GST. Point nine eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's an eleven. Yeah, that's right. You work it backwards. Right. Yeah. 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 The politicians think they've got a monopoly on it. Not GST, it goes to health, no, 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 education. Unless it's for health, for and education. What I mean was the economy. Okay. The Levites preceded the peace after Colonel Sabine was placed in the park. Where first tithe was taken and Truma Godola was not taken. Lest you say concerning this case, as Ram Papa said to Abaya, here too the produce should be exempt from the obligation to separate Truma Godola. The Tana of the Mishnah teaches us, as Abaya responds to Ram Papa, there is a difference between the case in which the grain was on the stalks and the case in which the grain was in the pile. Uh, to continue, uh, in the mission of the Lord, Maitre Shani the uh, so you can't take the Maitre Shani or consecrated produce that was not redeemed. She said that, surely obvious. Lo, no, Srika, it was necessary. The Niktu, the Lord Niktu Kihilkatam, where they were redeemed, uh, but they were not redeemed properly. Maitre She Pedao. Al Gabi Atimon, with Maitasheni, this is where one redeemed it uh, onto an unminted slug. Unminted coin. Here's a big coin. So, so, a slug is a coin. <coughs> as opposed to the creepy crawlers. 
remember that the rest of you must get to use that same one in the for yeah. a mm. So that's the expression you get to take another place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what does it mean? Does it, are there any notes there about um, about where it was redeemed by tra- oh. oh. Because you can transfer the value of it into money, yeah. and in this case, the money isn't money, it's a plug. Ha ha ha. That's a tag. It's a what? It's a tag. No, I mean, no, 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 it's no, like no, it's no. valueless value. It's counterfeit money, it's a plug. It's, it's, it's worth <coughs> remembering, and our people who talk about these things never remember that before the about 700 BC, doesn't it? What have we? Because we were around before 700 BC. No, we've got no idea. Before 700 BC or thereabouts, money did not exist as coinage. But when they talk about a silver shekel, they mean literally the shekel's weight of silver. So you were exchanging by weight precious metal, but it wasn't coin. So when it was minted, it was a a precise yes, measurement. It then, then became precise measurement, actually mm. marked. So when in in the Hummer they're talking about the half shekel and the shekel, it meant that weight of metal, oh, yeah. of valuable metal, not a coin. Right. Um, <clears throat> so you haven't done it properly, and that's why they say don't touch yes. it. Okay. The Rahmana Amar, the first one says, God says, the start of Hakesef Yazha, and you shall bind the money in your hand. Uh, meaning, Davar Sheyesh Botsura, something that has an image, i.e., a minted coin. Hekdesh Shechilelo Al Gabe Karka, with consecrated produce, where one deconsecrated it onto real property. Ah, that's what, that, that's what we want. The uh, Rachmana Amar Benatan Hakesef Bekam Lo. For the most one, God says, and he shall pay the redemption money, and it, that is the consecrated object, will be secured to him. I'll just read the way he put it here. When the Mishnah lists consecrated property, it is referring to that which was redeemed, redeemed by exchanging for land instead of money. And God in the Torah states with regard to this, He will give money and it will be assured to. Right. Money and not land may be used in redeeming consecrated property. Now, as the ne- mission next says, the law at look. So, you can't move look, except Rabbi Shimon, Shimon Ben Gamliel says you can move look. Uh, look is food for ravens. Yep. Ravens, as it said, were kept possibly as kept by the by the rich, by the rich, by the gentry, yeah. as uh, uh, well, uh, 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 food. Uh, food. No, 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 they were kept as yes. pets, according to uh, the notes here. They were kept like canaries, sort of. No, no, well, they're hunting birds. Hey, clever, clever animals, you can train them to do things. Uh, you know, they're nice, glossy. And the fact that you can afford to see differentiates you from the peasantry who need all the food they've got. Very good. Thank you. Tanner Rabbanan, the rabbi son of Rice, said, Metal in a tachatav, we can move tachatav. What's the term? The grass whose roots grow straight down and do not spread to the side. This is the grass that Joshua used to demarcate the various portions of the earth. The grass is where it grows straight down. So they're solid. They're solid. They yeah. can't be uprooted easily by trampling on them. Okay. That's why it's good for demarcation. There's no variation. Yeah. You can't say it's good. Yeah, it won't move. Yep. Um, so we may move Kat Khatav on the Shabbat. Misei Shehu Machal Lifrayim. 
because it is going to give it a kajal is a shekhur machale yonim and mafle because it is going to dove. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel Omer, after covering she raised the fuchit, we may even move glass shards and say shekhur machale namiyot because it's food for ostriches and there's no real extent to uh, just as he refers to us in producing Talmud, a main house statement is picked up and that Ashi's objection is rejected. If a particular species is unavailable to purchase, one may not move items for its benefit or contribute, even if one owns an animal from that species. But it doesn't tell you who would John Reagan. Uh, yeah. Or the glass. Glass for us. If Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel permits the movement of glass shards only where the person owns ostriches, then Rabbi Nassan. Oh no, yes. sorry, Ms. Gordon. Sorry. Oh, sorry. This is the Bat Hayana. Hayana. Mentioned in Leviticus among the non kosher birds. This is identified as the ostrich. The ostrich fellow swallows glass shards or other groups to aid digestion in the same way that other birds use gravel. Uh, well, I, I know that birds use gravel. I don't yeah. think that uh-huh. glass is uh-huh. I suppose if, if it was lying on the ground with the gravel... Yeah, and then just picking it up and yeah. taking it in. Okay, so... um, Is not such a tough one to put up to see how to do it? I thought it was got a... It's just in a strong place. You just read it, strong page. Yeah. It's with other It's Okay. I'm one up on Turkey. One up on Turkey, a stuffed ostrich to the third. Hey, we saw emus on a trip up north while we were driving. In the wild. In the wild. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Beautiful. We saw them moving in a small group and some in a field of wheat. Gorgeous. Just like two little heads kind of poking up above the wheat. It's hilarious. Amale Rabbi Natan. Elamata, but it should follow. Chabilez morot yetaltalo. Bundles of vines may be moved as well. Because it's food for elephants. Elephants. That's an interesting point. For Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel, uh, he would say, Na'amiyot shkisei. Ostriches are common. So, in this case, glass shards shouldn't be milked up. Pilin lo shkisei. Elephants are not common. Amar Amema, behold the Isle Namiot, provided that the person has ostriches in his possession. Amar Ravashi Lamema, Ella de Kamale Rabbi Nathan the Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamliel, but that which Rabbi Nathan said to Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamliel, Kabulez Morot, he tells them, Mishra Shehom Mahalatilim, one may move bundles of vines, excuse me, bundles of vines, because it's for elephants. If the person has elephants, why? They would not be permitted to move the vine. Ah, because you can't just say they're not common and therefore you can't have them. Because if you've got elephants, then you can't feed them. So you need to... And the other thing is, they, were, they may not have been common in everyday life, but certainly in the Syrian army... You yeah, would have thought they would be common. In the Syrian army, they were used to wait tanks. Right, yeah. right. Ela ra'oi, ra'oi. Rather, um, uh, they are fish. But rather, no, Reb Nussman's objection must be involved in case in which the person does not actually have elephants, so that the vines are merely fit for elephants, not actually prepared for them. Hachanami ra'oi, so too, uh, the glass shards are merely fit for ostriches, not actually prepared for them. Amar Abayu, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamil, Rabbi Shimon ben Rabbi Yishma, Rabbi Yashiva, Kul Husvira Lehu, Kolisho Bnei Malachim Hem, all hold that. All Israel are like princes. 
Ravan Shimon Ben Ben Gamel Hadamran. Ravan Shimon Ben Gamel Hadamran. That's what Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamliel said. Uh, it's evident that which we have just stated. And he's expanded this. Uh, it's stated in the Mishnah that it is permitted to move Aaron. This is because Aaron was first the raven. It's every Jew oh, was raven. It was common. It was common. No, As opposed to the... Because it was a prince there. Things that own race as if every church. Okay. Rabbi Shimon, uh, Rabbi Shimon says, Ditnan, we learned in the Mishnah, Bnei Malach, Sakhi, Nagabe, Makotseh, and Shemen, Vazered. Princes may smear rose oil on their wounds. On Shabbos, Sheken, Darkan, Shel Bnei Malach, and Lasukhako, for such is their custom to smear on weekdays. Rabbi Shimon ben Rabbi Shimon Omer, call Israel for name Malach and him, all of Israel are princes. So therefore you can do it on Shabbat. Rabbi Ishmael for Rabbi Akiva, the Tanya, it was taught, uh, they say based on this Baraisa, Harei Shehayu Natim Bo Elef Maneh, if creditors had a claim against him for 1,000 Maneh, Velavush Itzela Bat Mea Maneh, and he was clothed in a cloak worth 100 Maneh, Mashikinoto, we speak him of it, um uh O Malbishinoto Itzala Harauya Lo. I replied him in a cloak that is suitable for him for his status based on his will on his will. Tana Mishom Rabbi Ishmael, it was taught in a bright in the name of Rabbi Shah, but Tana Mishom Rabbi Akiva and a son of Baraisa in the name of Rabbi Akiva, call it Rabuin the Ota Itza, all of Israel are fit for that cloak. What's that more expensive? So the more expensive place. This is just in regard to all of these relatives. And it's in regard to the animals that were allowed to take and the data symbol that it implied. Chavile Kash Chavile Chavile Kule Bundles of stubble and bundles of Twigs and bubbles of tenderies, if one set them aside for use as, an an, as animal feed, we may move them. If not, maybe if you have a set them aside as animal feed, you can't move them. Tadarabana, Kavila Kash, the Kavile Aitim, Bundles of Stubble and Bundles of Twigs, the Kavile Zratim, Bundles of Tenderies, in Kitkinan, Lamaha, Behema, Metalto, and Ozone. If one set them aside for use as animal feed, we may move them. The in love, in the Tatu Notan, and if not, we may not read Rabbi Shimon, Rabban Shimon, Ben Gamaliel Omer, Chavilin Hanitalim, the Yadatan, Mutala Tatuli, the Tatulan. Bundles that can be moved, with one hand, it is permitted to move. Bishaya Dain Asurla Tatulan. So, if it requires two hands, it's forbidden to move. Kavileti a ezov bekoranis. Bundles of siya ezov and koranis. What's that? Ah, oh, we're about to identify. Savory kiss off and time. Savory kiss off and time. Siya ezov. Vacant plants suitable for people. What's that? Vacant plants suitable for people. This concept is sort of setting aside the adoption diversity. Is this concept a similar, similar um, to the theory of the new area of substitution? You're setting aside something so that you can then use it, use it, and then. The revolver is around cover now. That's the whole idea. That's, yeah. that's yeah. the whole idea. And that's the same thing with the, mm. the setting aside an area of Victoria Yonkers, which follows the Shabbat and the Shabbat. You're setting aside something so that it enables you to then cook on. Cook on Except if you wanted to leave that as purely procedural, it would still be fine. Even if you didn't necessarily have the covenant. But in all these cases you have to have covenant. And the whole intention here is intention. Yeah. Like we, we actually spent one of our Shurim a few days ago talking about um, we talked again about the Rabbi Shivan Ben Gamliel, was it or Rabban Gamliel wrapping up the bundles of wood 
remember that. So they can be sat. So you take palm branches that were old and dry. The intention was that they would be used as firewood. But if you thought to yourself, I would like to use them on Shabbos, I think it was Rabban Gamaliel said, you have to, did he say you have to tie them up? Yep. He said you have to tie them up into a bundle to give it in the intentionality of showing it, we're not using it for firewood, we're going to use it as a satay on Shabbos. Um, but there are others who said, all you need to do, like Rebbe Shimon would say, all you have to do is have... Designated. Designated. Okay. Yeah, and they would say, go out before, he would say to his students, go out before Shabbos, like look at it, and say, I designate that. And this was in relation to the bricks, wasn't it? Or that, was, that was bricks. Maybe also the palm branches, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, bundle of Sia is of a crony. If you brought them in dry, then it's the firewood. You can't partake of them on Shabbat. But as for animal food, you can partake of them on Shabbat. The cotton be out of the ochel, and you can break them by hand uh, into small pieces and eat them. Or you watch the lawyers from the prey. Provided that he does not break them uh, with the utensil on Shabbat. For molel the ochel, and one may rub the pod to remove the seeds. Is that the way you've got it, Peter? And he just says, one may crush them only with the ends of his fingers in an atypical manner. Um, sorry, as long as he doesn't touch a lot with his hand in the manner that he does during oh, the yeah, right. Right. yeah, right. Like you're making a big meal or something. Yeah. Uh shall I log this way uh big three high bed you pray rub your job, provided you not rub a lot with the utensil. Uh so that's what Rabbi you would have said. So he says you can use a utensil, but as long as it's not a lot. The chachamim or min malil barashe et bar tav ve'ochel. He can rub with the tips of his fingers and eat. The real bad shaloi mo be adohar be'er, provided he does not roll a lot with his entire hand. The derech shechor to be full in the manner that he does on weekdays. The chen for amitah and the same is for amitah the chen for pegam and the same for ru. The chen be shar. What's Ru? Uh, Ru. From the Greek, uh, Keganon, a plant from the Rusa family. That's given you a lot of Not even a picture. Too hard to ask it. Maya Mita, what's a Mita? It's Ninya, Mi, Si A, Amara Yehuda, Satre. It's Satre. Which is. This is a savory. An aromatic herb. Yeah, there, there is a, a, a herb that's called savory. It's called what? Savory. Savory. Yeah? It's used in English cooking. But I don't know what it is. Mm. It also says here it's possibly Penny Royal. Possibly. Uh, Ezo. Uh, Abarta, it's a Koranit, Koranita Shema. Its name is Koranita. Okay. Beha Hahudama Lehu. But this, uh, there was a merchant who said to other merchants, Man Bae Koranita, who was by Koranita, the Ishta Kashe, and it was found he was offering Kashe. That's that, that slavery. Pashay is Satre. Okay. Ella Tia Satre, Rada Tia Satre, Ez of Abarta, Ez of Isisa, Koronisa, Pashay, Koronisa, in Pashay. Okay. Itmar. Now this is the Mukhis. 
excited to sit and touch and make. Itmar, basar maliach mutar letalzul b'shabbat. Salted meat is permitted to make on Shabbat. Basar tapel raw meat, unsalted. Rav Shuna ma mutar letalzul. He says it's allowed to be moved. Rav Chisa ma so letalzul. Rav Chisa says it's forbidden. Rav Shuna ma mutar letalzul. Rav Shuna says with, about raw meat. It's permitted to move it. What are you talking about, man? Um, the Ha Rav Kuna came to Rav Hava. Rav Kuna was a disciple of Rav. The Rav to Rabbi Yehuda to Rabbi Yehuda. Rav holds in accordance with Rabbi Yehuda. The Idle Mukta to hold Mukta broad Mukta. So how can you move it? The Mukta la Chila. Tabala to Rabbi Yehuda. So any mukta with regard to eating it, Rav holds in accordance with Rabbi Yehuda. That is forbidden. The mukta of Chalcol to my lekar Rabbi Shimon. But about mukta with regard to moving it, Rav holds in accordance with Rabbi Shimon that it's permitted to move mukta. Ah, so there's a difference between eating mukta and moving mukta. Eating mukta and moving mukta. Aha. Did you get that, Peter? Or you're way ahead of us. You're on the other side. He just says, uh, Shimon, who is not of the opinion that there was a prohibition of Mukta and moving it is permitted. Remember that Shimon just doesn't generally hold with the whole idea of Mukta. Right. Rafisa Marasula Tatsula, Rafisa says, uh, raw meat, it is forbidden to move The Haravisa Barami Yikla Levi Rafisa, the Chaza Hahu Barav Avaza, for a certain duck. You saw the meat of that duck. So, Shechted, Shechted duck, which must have been raw. The Havu Kamitalkla Lei Mishimsha Latula. That the servants were carrying from the sun to the shade. Samara Sista Kestron Kitka Hazinan Haka. We see here a financial loss. So that's what they said back to him. Shani Barav Abaza the Hazila Unsa. Raw meat from a duck is different, for it is fit to be eaten raw. Hanra, oh, well, and that's why you can eat it. That's why you can move it. Only duck. Yeah, according so to this. Different to things. Yeah, yeah. Hanra banan, dagmalia, salted fish, mutala tasso is permitted to move it. Dag tafels, unsalted fish, asula tasso is forbidden to move it. Vastar, in regards to meat, raw meat. Then tafel uvein malia mutar letalta. Whether it's unsalted or salted, it's permitted to move it. Uh, so this is from a brayta. Uh, and in, this is the brayta. Yes. Yeah, so in brackets, or stomach or Rabbi Shimon. This is an unattributed brayta to Rabbi Shimon. Oh, I reckon they're just laying some blame on yeah. the judge. Tan Rabbanan, the rabbis learned in a brayta. Matal si netat, we may move bones. Because they are food for dogs. Uh, sorry. Uh, we can move spoiled meat. It's food for beasts. What is that we're exposed? They are not muksa. They're food for kestra. They're food the waters themselves, one is forbidden to keep mitnei hasakana because of the danger yes. of one who might drink them. Exposed to the water, the snake. Yes. Ah, Mishra. We can invert a basket. We can invert a basket in front of chicks. Today, she ya alu the yerdu, so they can climb up and down from their nest. So you can go like this. Yep. Tarnagolet she bacha ife kenes keg dochin osa ad chet kenes. We may push her until she uh, enters into her nest. Uh, it doesn't mean nest; it means poop, doesn't it? Uh, then yes, poop.
Medagin Agalin of Yachin, we can help cause the young donkey to walk. Isha Medaga, it's Bena, a woman may help the child walk. Ama Rabbi Yehuda, notice that it says young child. Ama Rabbi Yehuda, Emma Tai, when can she do that? Isman Shekhuno Tela Khatumaniya Khatta, when he lifts one foot and puts down the other foot. Aval, in haya gorer asur. But if he can't really walk, she was dragging him. Uh, it's forbidden. Uh, 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 until it really enters the house. We're looking at the time when people have their lives to go to and their residents as well, not just a coup. Amar Rav Yehud Amar Rav, the hammer shena fole amar kamayim, if an animal fell into a stream of water, uh, he can't get out, mezi harim uch shakot hum maniyah tachteha, you can bring kilos of cushions and put them beneath her, so she can step up, the imal to alta, and if she emerges, she emerges. Mm-hmm. They, they challenged it. The hena shenafla le amatamain. So Baraita says, if an animal fell into a stream of water, or sema kana sabin kama, one supplies her with provisions in her location. That's interesting. That's like the animal that was at the bottom of the pit. Vishwa shelot hamut, so that she should not die of hunger. Kana sa'in. Let me go back to the financial loss that they were referring to with the. No, don't let the animal die. Oh, that was the servant said that. So the Goisha servant made that one. Um, so provisions, yes, Karim of Satot, Lok. Lok there is no, uh, there is no difficulty. Ha, the Esheba Kanasa, this is where it's possible uh, to just give it provision to alleviate the suffering. Ah, and this is where it is not possible uh, to alleviate the suffering with provision. It's where it's possible with provisions. Uh, so this is what the Brahsa actually means. Where it's possible with provisions, yes, you can do that. The Ilo, and if not, Mezi Karim He can bring pillows and cushions and place them beneath it. Good. So that the animal can climb out. Can climb out. Yeah. The Hakam of Atel that's like a third or fourth time we read that. The Hakam of Atel Klimahesha. So, but he's now fine. the preparedness of a utensil. Um, he's now fine the preparedness of a utensil. That makes good sense. He holds, now find the preparedness and utensils is rabbinic, Sabale claims the orator. And the strength of a Riyya, a live creature, is biblical. The Ate the orator, the Dake the rabbinan. Therefore, the biblical comes and overrides the rabbinical. Tanagola Shabbat Sabatole is a hen escape. And you can push her back into the coop. Yokin a pushing, yes. Medagin law, helping her walk back the note. Ah, it says in regard to calves and foals, you can help them walk back. But for a chicken note. Hanina laha de Tanarabanan. We have learned from the Mishnah that the rabbi is taught in a breaker. Medagin behemoth pay the off the hut there. We can help an animal beast or bird walk in a courtyard. Of a lot at the Tanagolet. Tanagolet may come a lot. One of the Tanagolet. Amar Abaye, Mishon to Makap, the Makapia, Makapia, Mishon to Makapia, Nasha, because she will. Yeah. 
Tanu Chada, Tanu Chada, one bright mistake. Medagim, the hem of a high that off the chaser, he can help an animal beast or bird walk in the courtyard. Aval lobi shetaragim, but not in the public domain. The ha'isha medata is from the abir shetaragim. However, a woman may help a child walk in a public domain, but ain't so if a mother chaser. And they just to stay in the courtyard. So in the courtyard, you can help the child walk, but not in the public area. As opposed to the chicken, you can't miss the chicken at all in the courtyard. A woman may help her son walk in the public domain. That's not the public And domain. needless to say, it is permitted in the courtyard. That's not a question you think it applies at all in public courtyard. And he added between those two bits, and all the more 
one may not. The comment that I sent you is going through the, the heart of what uh, exertion. That is, we may not take they hold of the fetus and pull it out. Just actively delivering the fetus in this matter involves excessive exertion. Yeah, and he quotes Rashi. Uh, according to Rashi, birthing an animal is prohibited because it involves exertion and it is prohibited by the rabbinic decree. Others maintain that delivering an animal on Shabbat is a violation of a prohibition by Torah law. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the Yaldin Shabbat Shabbat, we may deliver a woman uh, at this, uh, with delivery on Shabbat. The Korean La, the from the Makram, we can summon, we summon a midwife for her from one place to another distant place. Mechalal in Aleha is the Shabbat, and we desecrate Shabbat from her account. The Koshin is the Kibur, we tie the umbilical cord uh, on Shabbat. Rabbi Yoshi on her, Akhotin, we also sever, Rabbi Yoshi says, the Koltat and Mila Osin the Shabbat. And we perform all the requirements of circumcision on Shabbat. Gemara, Kate in the Sadim, in what way may we assist in animal delivery? Rabbi Huda Amar, Ochevet Havalad, Shelo Yipolar, if one grasps a newborn, uh, as it emerges, so it doesn't fall to the ground. Rabbi Nachman Amar, Dochet Babasa Kedeshi Yete Havalad, when they take the flesh, so the fetus should emerge, so you can squeeze the animal to bring the fetus up. Tanya Kavaytei De Rav Yehuda, and Rabbi Sotra Baraka is consistent with Rabbi Yehuda, he said in the Sadim, in what way may we assist? Ochazim et avalad shelo yukola aris, we grasp the newborn, this on yonto, we grasp the newborn of the animal, uh, so that it doesn't fall to the ground, the nafea, the lo bechosmo, and one blows into its nostril, clear its nasal passage, the maten lo dad le tosh teeth the dead shin in we place the teeth into its mouth so it should crackle, ama rabbi shimon ben gamriel. So rabbi shimon ben gamriel said, we used to indeed to a kosher species of animal on Yom Tov. What does that mean? <coughs> ah. So, so the animals don't get neglected after they're born. Techiavid, what does one do? Amaradaye, mevi, mevi bul shomela. You bring a fist-sized lump of oh. <coughs> uh, 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 expanded by a sieve. If the matter does permit the expansion, if the matter does not draw her offspring near and tend to it, then goes back into the translation. One may bring a lump of salt and place it in the animal's room, ah. so that it will suffer. Okay. So that she should remember her pain and have pity on the newborn. <laughs> That's curious. Um, Ouch. And we dash water of the after of the afterbirth on the newborn. So she should smell it and have pity on the newborn. That particular part's interesting. With newborn birds, mm. you don't touch them because the smell that you, from your fingers, the scent, the, the mother bird doesn't go near them. So now it's saying, put the, like if you had to intervene and you had to touch the animal, put the afterbirth juices on the child. That's very oh, clever. The duck has a and uh, this is only for kosher species. About Tamea law and for non kosher, no. My Tama, what's the reason for non kosher? We don't do it for non kosher. Tamea law, Marchata, Valda, because the non kosher species does not reject the offspring uh, of the newborn. The E, Marchata, Valda, and if she does reject the offspring, law, Makarba, she will not be accepted with these devices we talk about. Miyaldin et Aisha Vakule, so the Mishnah said we deliver a woman of her child, Mikdi. Now, 
would you deliver a woman? The and we summon for her a midwife from place to place. What? Uh, so, what right do we desecrate the shops on her account? The Atoya had the Tanu Rabbanan to include that which the rabbis taught in the Baraisa. In Haitatu Cholener, if she needed a lamb uh, during birth, during uh, what's it called? During birthing, during delivery. Chaver Chaverta Madleket La Etaner. Her friend likes the lamb for her. On Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, the she needed oil. Her friend brings her oil in her hand. The email and if uh, in her hand is insufficient oil, she brings in her hair. The im and if in her hair is insufficient, mevia love uh, in, in a container, in a usual way. Amama, the master said, Im haitat shukhalaner, if she needed a lamp, Chaver ta madleket la etaner, her friend may light a lamp for her. Shita, this is obvious. Lo, no, it's not obvious. Shita besuma, it's necessary in the case of a blind woman. Mahu de temas kevan de la kaja so, I would have just said that she could be in the middle of a labor chain and she couldn't light it properly. Um, you might have said since she cannot see, it is prohibited to light the lamp for her. For Mashmalan, the Bryce informs us, Her mind is put at ease. She reads, if there is something, uh, my friend will more readily see it and do it for me. Good. In Haitatu Kalashim and the Kulib, she needed oil. Wow, on your first day back, that's a big one. In Haitatu Kalashim and the Kulib, she needed oil, etc. So this is from the bride, so she can bring it in her hair or in her hands or whatever. How did she bring it in her hair? Like a natural oil over here? What's the matter? Bring it in her. Stick it in. I think the way it's probably works is this. First, you've got to. You're bringing the oil in an atypical fashion, so first you put some oil in your yeah. in your hand. If that's not enough, you then dip your hair in oil and you wrap up with the oil in yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah. And if that's not enough, then you bring the container. Um, or it could be in modern day, it could be a wig. Just get a wig and turn it up again. Right, and then you should just bring a wig like this. Do you the... Right. Take a shum sita. never No, right. We have something to mark it, Mickey Mike. Take a shum It should emerge uh, because of the prohibition against squeezing out on Shabbos. Ah, because obviously you yeah. bring it out. Rabba uh, and Rabbi Yosef to Ami Tavayehu, they both said, "Ain't there are there is no squeezing out with hair." Ravashi Amar, I feel as though my yesh tita besi air. Even if you say there is a biblical squeezing out in her hair, Mevia la bichle derek sara. She brings it to her in a container by means of her hair. The chamet the esh of the shanui shanui is mishaninam. For as much as it is possible to deviate from the normal melacha, we should deviate. Ama Rabbi Rama Shmuel, Haya, with a woman who just gave birth, calls man she hakever patuah. As long as the womb is open, bein amra chuta ani bein lo amra chuta ani. Whether she says I need it or whether she doesn't say I need it, Mahalalin Aleha et Hashabat. We desecrate the Shabbat on her account. Nisam Hakever once closed, Ben Amra Chitha, Anim, Ben Lo Amra Chitha, Anim, 
Ain Machalin Aleya Eka Shabbat. Whether she says, I need it or don't need it, we do not desecrate the Shabbat in her account once the room is closed. Well, that was a big note we will close.